fantastic customer. He said his mashed potato cocktail was the best he'd ever had. Oh, that's nice, Mavis. How's the mashed potato pancake, Badger? Where's it gone? I don't know. There it is. <laughs> oh, very <laughs> funny, Badger. Very oh. funny. <laughs> anyway, then he asked if he could come down to the kitchen to meet everyone. You didn't say yes. Of course not. Why not? Because some customers might be a little put out. I'll take this out. up to him. Okay, maybe. See you, mate. Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, sorry it took so long. I'll bring it up now, and then you can bring it up later. <laughs> <laughs> no need. I'll eat it while I'm chatting with the manager. No, no, don't tell me. That door over there. <laughs> um, yes. But he's rather busy at the moment. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> and he doesn't want to be disturbed by anyone. Oh, but I'm not just anyone. Here with my compliments. Oh! Rodney's robotic kitchen equipment. Don't worry, he'll love being disturbed by me. Mm, not bad, particularly for a human chef. Oh, careful, babies. Oh, you must be Mr. Trough. You must be selling something. Right first time. This is with my compliments. <laughs> Thank you. And this is with mine. I'm not interested. Not now, but in one minute's time, Mr. Trough, I guarantee you will be. One minute, you can't last one second in there, it just does. Well, in 1987, someone selling everlasting candles lasted a whole 14 seconds in there before well. Troffy threw him out. That's the unbeaten record till now. Well, this one lost a minute. I bet your battery doesn't. You're on. It'll come flying out that door any second now. Now. Oh, yeah. Looks like he's beaten the record. He still won't last a minute. You yes, see. See? I won. <laughs> there. I told you you'd be interested. <laughs> <laughs> and in less than a minute, too. Who uh, won? So I'll see you quite soon, then. Rodney. <laughs> Rodney? Pass a bomb bag. Yeah. I'll see you very soon then, Hector. <laughs> Hector? Pass a bomb bag again. Yeah. Nice meeting you both. Bye. 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 Pass a... Yeah. Too late. Yeah. Near this, <laughs> Simon, <laughs> why don't you uh, take a lunch break? What? what? Lunch break? break? Use the stairs, <laughs> please. Oh, oh. well, Fine. you're the boss. Of course. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yes. You see, it's tight. Come on. Psst. All clear. Shabba ship, stop. Here it is, then. The very latest in kitchen robotics. Voila. It does everything that an ordinary chef does, except for one thing. What's that? It doesn't ask for wages. <laughs> Which is why we call it the Shabba Chef. So you mean, once I buy one of these, I can Shabba Chef? <laughs> can I try it? Be my guest. Right. Uh, isn't there a remote control or something? Remote control? How incredibly prehistoric. <laughs> The Shabba Chef is voice activated. Call it by its name and it'll do anything you say. Right. <laughs> oh, I, I feel silly. Go on, Shabba Chef, and then a command. OK, then. Shabba Chef, listen, you. Stop! Oh, don't be alarmed. He's just listening, like you said. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, Shabba Chef. I want you to cook me. Uh, 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 what's he doing? Call him off! You did say cook me. I, I, I didn't mean cook me, I meant Shabba Chef! Stop! Only doing what he's told. Oh, oh Shabba Chef. Uh, I want you to mash me up. No, oh, and a bowl of mashed potato. <laughs> <laughs> See? You only had to say. Oh, he's quite good, isn't he? What's that he's stirring with? Oh, it's a whisk. Oh, won't it break? Maybe. But we can whisk it. So, what do you say? I don't know. It's a lot of money. And once you've paid it, that's it. No wages. Exactly. No holidays. Exactly. No pets. Exactly. What? I don't know, just a sneaking suspicion I've always had about that Simon Bodger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. 
Oh, look, he's finished. <laughs> See? Perfect mashed potato. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Mm. Shove a chef. You ought to give yourself a pat on the back. Oh. <laughs> Look at him, eh? <laughs> what a card! <laughs> you know, he really makes me laugh. <laughs> uh, what did he do that for? He can't have done. <laughs> he didn't. Well, who did then? Oh, I almost forgot. The guarantee, <laughs> with a special clause that he won't flick mashed potato at you ever again, <laughs> unless you tell him to, of course. <laughs> Plus. I'll knock 20 quid off the price. Now, look, I can't say fairer than that. You're wrong. <laughs> I'm going to get the money. <sighs> What's the big idea, Shorty? Oh, it wasn't me flicking mashed potato, Rodney. It was a badger. A badger? <laughs> you don't get badgers roaming round in kitchens. Are you doing this one, Rodney? Honest. If you really were a robot, You'd have a screw loose. I saw him. Look, just remember the routine. As soon as the mug's given us the money, I push off. Yeah. What Whoa. do you do? Uh, I get out of here as soon as possible. Yeah, without being noticed. Without being noticed. Uh. And then uh, I wait outside for you by the getaway moped. Right. And then we, uh, what? 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 Here we are. 200 pound, take away 30. Uh, 20? Didn't we say 30? Ah, oh, all right. Leaves 160. Uh, 180. 180? Mm. Oh, all right. 180. Plus VAT makes a round total of uh, 200 quid. Eh? Take it or leave it. Oh, all right. 200 quid. A pleasure to do business with you. <laughs> <laughs> Where's it gone? I don't know. You must have it. I haven't got it. You've got it. I haven't got it. Well, I haven't got it. You, you put, put it, it in, in your, your trouser, trouser pocket. pocket. No, no, I didn't. didn't. Look. Well, that's it. No money, no robot. Shabashev, out the door. <laughs> we are off. Shabashev, come back here. <laughs> You're not leaving with my 200 quid. We haven't got your 200 quid. Shabashev, out the door. Shabashev, come back here. Out the door. <laughs> here. Door. Here. Door. Here. Door. Here. Door. Fun. What's going on? He, he owes me 200 quid. And uh, this 200 quid. Oh, I'll take that. Shabba chef, open the door. Well, looks like you just bought yourself a Shabba chef. Stay. What? Stay. Mustache. Ciao. Shabba chef. Look, when I came here, you said. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Bocha. I might have some bad news for you. So I'll try and break it to you as gently as I can. Simon, you're fired. Why? Yeah, why? Simple, Simon. I don't need you anymore, so end of chat. Yes. Mavis, from now on, you can work with Shove Chef. And you can shove off. I'm not working with a walking whisk. Well, suit yourself. There's plenty more waitresses in the sea. Ha-ha. <laughs> shove Chef, sweep the floor. Ooh. Anything I say. <laughs> what about our wages? What about your wages? You owe us both a week's wages. Do I? Oh, well, fair enough. <laughs> Just think, these will be the last wages I have to pay any chef ever. <laughs> Shove a chef, stop sweeping. Shove a chef, carry on sweeping. See? Anything I say. <laughs> oh, pathetic. Listen, all right, Badger. Maybe she didn't have to go. Listen. I know, but I'm fed up working for him anyway. Listen, will you stop badgering? Listen, all right. What is it? He's not really. Yes. A robot. Don't be dull. Look. What? what? He's trying to get away. What do you mean, get away? He's just sweeping He's up. He's doing it the... again. The thing is, Badger, robots do what they're told. Look. And Trough told it to start sweeping up the floor. So it's doing just that. Making, Making for, for the, the door. Eh? Get, Get him! Here, what's going on? Here. Is he running out of batches? No, he was running out the door. We don't reckon he's a robot at all. Of course he's a robot. Leave him it. Evening all. Shorty Brown. Eh? eh? My old chemistry teacher. Of course, you're Mavis, aren't you? That's right. 
Always singing in my lesson, she was. <laughs> well, the test tube's connected to the... Bell jar. The, the bell, bell jar's connected, connected to, to the... Gaster. Will somebody please, 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 tell me what's going on? Well, Shorty had to leave the school after blowing up the chemistry lab. That's all right, Mavis. No other school would give me a job. I had to turn to crime. I hate being a criminal. You've no idea how much I hate it. And you've no idea how much I hate losing 200 pounds. Look, look, I'll, I'll get it back for you. I know. You let me go. I promise I'll make Rodney give it all back to you, Mr. Troff. I don't know. That's a tall order, Shorty. Are you saying you can't trust an ex-chemistry teacher? Psst. You're right. No! So long, sucker. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You owe me 200 pounds. You mean this 200 mm -hmm. pounds? <laughs> Mavis, Simon, get him. Here, come back with my 200 pounds. I'm sorry, you two, but you must understand how I felt. I mean, it meant no more wages to pay out. Oh, oh yes, yeah. wages. wages. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wages. <laughs> Can't really afford that, you know. You could afford £200 for a two-legged tin opener, though. Ah, ah, but that £200 was for yours and Simon's holiday money. Boy. Oh, really? Yes, really. I, I saved it up especially for you both, as a surprise. I don't know how I'm going to save it up again. But... Say you were to get that £200 back, Mr Trough, it would definitely be our holiday money, would it? Oh, definitely. But how am I going to get it back again? Easy. 100 for you, Mavis, and 100 for me. Thanks, Mr Trough. Yeah, but that's my present, present to, to us. us. Thanks very much, Mr Trough. 